All right, guys, welcome back to yet another video. Today, I'm going to try something new. I'm going to try to make a spaceship in Blender 2.81 in uh, 10 minutes. So from scratch, let's see how this goes. Uh, what I've done is uh, prepared just to set my uh, timer here on my phone for 10 minutes, so I have a countdown. And then what I'll do as well is I've got two things on my screen. I've got Blender already loaded here, and uh, I've also got this website loaded, pixelart.com, where I'm going to just draw a quick texture. So it's a free site uh, just called pixelart.com. You can go there as well and just create uh, the same type of graphics that I'm doing. I saw some challenges on the line from art artists. I'm not an artist, but uh, <laughs> I saw some uh, people that drew uh, images in like 10 minutes and then dropped it down to one minute and then 10 seconds. I don't think I'll be able to do that, but I did uh, want to pick up on the 10 minute thing. So I'm going to create a simple low poly spaceship in Blender from the standard scene here. And uh, I don't think I'll be able to talk too much because I'm probably going to be stressed out my head while I do it. Uh, but I'm going to try anyway to just, uh, well, at least be somewhat present when I record it. So I hope you like this video, just totally random. I'm going to set my timer here and then I'm just going to die right into Blender and uh, get started. So, <laughs> all right, wish me luck for this one. Uh, am I recording? Yeah. OBS is recording. Camera is recording. Probably out of focus. That's okay. Microphone recording. Okay, I'll just switch to the pixel art site as well here. Minimize this ad. So, ready, steady, go. Okay, it's counting down. So, I'm going to need a green color and a black color. And then I want to have two shades of gray here, or like bluish gray. So I'll just do a darker one and a light one. That's it. Um, I'll download this one. Here we go. I'll show it in my Explorer. I've got a big screen here, so I don't really see. I'm only recording part of it. But let's uh, go to the uh, shading tab. Select the object. Uh, get let's uh, let's get this material here. There it is. Drag it in. Need to change it to the closest so we don't get blurry images. Base color. That's fine. And then I'm going to have to redo everything here in the uh, UV site. But I want to switch off a few things here. I want to show the texture, show shadows. I want to show cavity both and increase this a little bit. I'm a fan of this one. I've just found this feature, so I really like it. Mark everything, reset the UVs. A scale it down to 0.01. G, let's make everything green here or blue it is. Let's delete the left side of this one, vertex, and then add the modifier. And we want the mirror modifier and clipping on. Let's get rid of this camera as well. That will disturb me. And the light tab back in here. So let's just start a scale this a little bit. Extrude. Extrude. I have no idea what type of shit this is going to be. Uh, let's just make something E, S to scale it, G to grab it. <laughs> this is stressful. E to extrude again, S to scale. Let's. Uh, Extend it back here as well. S to scale it a bit. We need to make it a bit thicker. So shift space and G. Let's move this up. Let's make some sort of a wing type of thing here. Let's do R first. Let's hold the shift key and mark a few of these. Uh, e for in I for inset. S to scale it down. That'll do. Let's extend these. Let's make some some spaceships have these really long and pointy side wings, so I'll probably go for something like that. Control R, scale that one. Let's extrude this as well, so I'll hold the shift key and multi-select a few things here. And move this in, let's tighten it up. Seven on the keypad, rotate it a bit. Let's move this out. Let's move that out. Let's look from the front view as well. Let's switch a lot on the keypad here. Uh, E to extrude. Basically, I'm I'm pretty much working exclusively, nearly with extrusion and scaling here and moving. That'll do. Um, I for inset. E to extrude down. What's this going to become? S to scale along Y, the Y axis. Move it back. I'm not too much of a fan with that, but that'll have to do. Let's move this one in a bit. That's it. Okay, we need to make it a bit thicker here. E to extrude, S to scale it. And then we need to move this down. <laughs> this is stressful. Well, I should have not have done this probably. Never mind. Ah, good practice, I guess, for Ludum there if I'm going to do those. Imagine if you could keep this uh, frantic pace through a whole Ludum there for 48 hours. That should be interesting. So maybe something like that. And then let's make it. I have no idea what this is supposed to be. Um, some thick front thing, maybe. 
E to extrude again, S to scale it. Let's move it in. We've got clip-in enabled, so that's really good. I can go quite brutal with this. Uh, e to, oh, uh, E to extrude this, S to scale it up. E to extrude again, up, what, whatever this is gonna be. Some sort of a front thing, control R maybe. Scale that a bit, maybe up. Uh, let's do some sort of a front wing here as well, maybe. S to scale that one, move it back. And then we need something thicker maybe here. I for inset. I to extrude. S to scale, S to, and then X to scale along the X axis. E to extrude this. Let's put some uh, fat engines down here. Is that even going to work? I don't know. I think the shadow is making it look a bit funny here. I should disable the shadow actually. Ah, oh, never mind. Don't have time for that. Okay. Uh, this is going to be one wonky engine. Never mind. Let's try it anyway. E to extrude that. S to scale it. E to extrude this. S to scale. And let's do I for in inset this one. E to extrude inwards. That's going to be really. To grab that one in a bit. S to scale it down maybe. Let's extrude this one a bit. Scale this one down. G to grab and move it a bit. E to extrude that one. Is the weirdest engine ever. I have no idea what that's supposed to be. S to scale that one down. Let's move this edge out a bit. And let's do, so this is going to be the cockpit, so let's make it a bit fatter here. Uh, e to extrude. E to extrude there. Maybe we'll do some sort of a wing here at the top. Why am I doing 4 minutes and 23 seconds to go? G to grab, S to scale. Let's see, we've got to do some control R here as well. S to scale here. Let's put some more features here on the wing tip, maybe. B to extrude. Select this top one. E to extrude that. S to scale it. Ah. Okay, that'll do. And then here we need to do, let's do some. If someone's got any ideas what type of stuff this could be on a spaceship, let me know. I have absolutely no clue. Control R, E to extrude that scale. Maybe this is also sort of a radar. <laughs> Probably not. No. Okay, let's do that. Okay, now I'm gonna. I've got three minutes and thirty-two seconds. So I'm gonna put some features on it. Let's make this into glass first of all. I'll just make it uh, black. That part. And then inside the engines here, I'm gonna do Control Plus on the keypad. Actually, I'll do this first. I'll grab it. And then control minus on the keypad and make that black. And then I'll do the same in the back here. Control plus twice. Grab control minus black in there. Let's put some green features on this to make it pop a little bit as well. And uh, where do we want those? On the wings usually that'll look good. So let's make it a bit stripy like this. Uh, let's see. I'll make that one and that one. So I'll hold the shift key to multi-select. How am I doing for time? Two minutes and 43 seconds. It's all right. Let's make those green. And let's make, let's do an inset like this maybe. I for inset and then extrude this one down a bit. Not very aero, aero, aerodynamic. Let's make that green as well. And let's, uh, we probably need some sort of an intake here maybe as well. E to extrude this one, scale. And let's do an uh, I for inset here, extrude this one in a bit. That's also some sort of an air intake in space. I have no idea why they've got air intakes in space. That probably makes no sense either. Let's make this, uh, should this be black or, yeah, black looks all right. And let's make some sort of a stripe here. How am I doing? One minute and 50 seconds. Uh, maybe something like that. I, and then I press B here to link that one. No, that's not good. I'm not happy with that. I, B, 
E to extrude this one down a bit, or should this one go up? Maybe up for that one. Control plus, make that one darker. Some sort of a shield, maybe. Let's move this one back around that axis. And then here, maybe I'll try to do I inset here. E to extrude this one. Let's make this one green to pop that one a bit. How am I doing? One minute to go. What should I do here? Uh, I E to extrude this one. S to scale it a bit. Let's make this one some probably green here as well. I E S to scale it down. G, let's make that one pop a bit green. That's all right. Oh, so I want half a minute to go. Let's to X-ray F1 for the vertices. Let's select all of this and twist it a bit like that. And the same thing here from the front. Let's do some weird stuff here. R to rotate, G to grab. Ah, uh, how am I doing? 21 seconds. Maybe I screwed it up in the end here. I don't know. Switch off X-ray. Ah, uh, I think I won't have time more. 12 seconds. Let's go out of edit mode here. Ah, uh, that's it. That's gonna be my final ship. Okay, four, three, two, one. There we go. No, time's out. <laughs> oh well, let's see. Front view. Some. All right, I'll switch this off anyway. Dismiss. All right, don't know how that turned out. So from the front, it's got some sort of a sci-fi curvature on it. Uh, really weird engines. Maybe it looks all right anyway in a game. Side view, a little bit aggressive maybe. Could work. Uh, maybe from some sort of a side view game. Let's see the top view. Yeah, maybe not too bad. Um, I think from a, for a top-down shooter, if you were to render it really small like this maybe, that could work. Or uh, if you had uh, just a simple low poly space game, I think, uh, yeah, because it's not. Let's see the back as well, underneath, back, top. All right, you be the judge of that. I have no idea. Uh, maybe I'll uh, challenge myself uh, every now and then to make some 10 minute spaceship and see how I progress over time. But uh, basically, uh, extrude mirror. Well, the mirror modifier extruding is your friend, best friend. Symmetry is awesome when it comes to spaceships and you can keep the colors really primitive uh, I only use four ones for this uh, You usually want to have black inside the engines and then put some feature trims on it Maybe green yellow orange red then I'll, and then I prefer a blue tint to the metal instead of just a plain gray So there you go. There's my uh, 10 minute spaceship. I hope you enjoyed it. A super quick video I guess again, let me know if you want me to do anything else Just put it in the comments below and hit the like button if you like this one and uh, don't forget to share it or uh, subscribe as well And I'll see you soon again. Bye